Okay, so I have deemed myself unworthy to fight that boss yet. Or mini boss, or whatever she is. Um, so instead, I'm going to go back and look for the dwarf. Uh, because I think I might know where he is. And in fact, I can just use this. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna do some shopping here really quick, and then I'm gonna head down to the Dwarven Village. Okay, um, I have bought a few things. I bought mainly potions, and I also bought two spell books and this ring that the, uh, mage guy had there in town. I upgraded my energy cage and one other one, hell spikes. Uh, because they were for sale. So I have now rank two in both of those, which is cool. So now what we're doing here is looking for. To all brave and loyal dwarves. Okay, is it that guy I'm looking for? Town Crier, Igor, Grimix, Bedweir, um. Why isn't that updated? I didn't load the wrong save, did I? It doesn't matter anyways. Um, oops. We're we don't know who we're looking for, I don't think. I'm trying to find... Dwarven... I don't think we know who the dwarf guy is. So yeah, we'll just look for the dwarf. Hello, Rimmer. Uh, I don't think it's you. I guess we'll talk to all these guys. Good luck. Grog. Alright, that's the guy that stinks. Dwarven soldier, dwarven miner. Uh, dwarven miner. That looks like an important building. Maybe it's in there. Shop. Well, really? Hmm. There must be someone in here. Guard. This is the, oh yeah, this is the jail in the inn, which is really weird. So there's gotta be... This is where the really nice dwarves lived over here, I think. I don't know if... Hmm. Dwarven jeweler. Yeah, you're nobody special. Oh man, they gotta be here! It's a dwarven village! Good morrow, what are dwarfs talking about? No. What about this guy? Sorgrim. Hmm. It has to be in this contingent of dwarves up here then. It has to be. All the people that are named in the village are right here. So we got Grimrix, Igor, Bedwin, Borby, Whitria, Axona, Astrosius, Udha, Ramrix, and the town Creer. Is there anything, uh, It's 
not you. Oh, bollocks. Um, what's that? Did I check that out already? Hmm. It looks like some kind of altar. I cannot get there from here. I have to go back down this way. You're not a named person. What is it? Teleporter. Nobody around there, right? No. It's okay, lady. I got it. So, there's... Oh, that's... That's ominous. Um, I missed that before. That is a magical orb. What is that for? Well, let's, let's take it and find out. What could possibly go wrong? A book. Okay. First we'll read the book. And save. Read the book. Read. Shrine of good and evil. Touch the shrine and it will look into your heart. You'll be given what you've earned. Okay. The gods are with you. You are quicker of wit now. Okay. Did that bump up my intelligence? I think it did. Maybe. I need rest. 50 years, huh? Okay, so it's just a buff. Well, that's cool, I guess. Um, fortunately, it did not lead me anywhere to my goals. So where else could this dwarf guy be? He's the only other person that we need. I swear to God, he's got to be here. It's the dwarven freaking village, man. Talk to all those guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hear ye, hear ye. I looked in all the houses. I must have missed him. Is he like north of the village? Cave. I guess I could go to that cave. There's a dwarven forest. Wishing well. Teleporter dwarven forest. Maybe he's over there? I don't know, man. I don't remember what it looked like in his, uh... Okay, there's fighters over here. Explore up here a little bit. Some locked chests. Oh, hi. Okay. Imps booties. No. No, no, no. Dwarven ale. All right, it's a bit of a dwarven party went on here. That doesn't help me though. What's that? What's all this? This looks interesting. Boulder. Will this reveal some kind of a uh, cave if I move the boulders? I think it might actually. Hey. Hey, look at this. Ooh. Oh. Oh, the Blade of Chaos. Really? Wow. Okay. Sure. Who is hiding the Blade of Chaos in there? That's not, that's not the super evil sword, is it? Why would that be in there? Am I going to be evil if I use this? It's a lot of damage. Okay. Cool, I found the Blade of Chaos. 
Interesting. Um, that was here, right? So, no, that was there. No. Oh, God. I might have to look this up because I don't want to run around for ages trying to find the dwarf guy. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. We'll be back. Okay, so... Um, I looked it up, and it's supposed to be a person dressed in white in the middle of the Dwarven village. And I think it was that village because it's the one that's by Stormfist Castle. So I asked the, I asked uh, more, uh, this guy, Zandalor. He says, maybe further scrying will help us. So we're going to do that. Isn't that the dwarves? Oh, sorry. Hmm, I wonder what that big thing in the distance is. Yeah, he's supposed to be right there in front of the... Th okay. Aha, I recognize the dwarf's location. He's in Glenboris, the over overground dwarf village. Go there as soon as possible, my friend. He seems to be a frequent traveler. We must not lose track of him. Okay. So, yeah, he was there, and that's where I was looking, but he actually wasn't there because you have to come back and scry first in order for him to appear, I guess. So... Now we should be able to go back there and find him, which is good. So let us do that. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, Dwarven Village. Guy in front of the shrine. There he is. Aeolo Aeolus. Greetings, I am Aeolus Thunderstorm, Dwarven Ambassador to the Six Races. You come at a very inopportune time. If you wish to sample our famous Dwarven hospitality, human, the Axe of Stone has been stolen. Today I have to write a letter to King Kelp Dunatrim to tell him of our great loss. Okay. I want you to join the Council of the Seven. Uh, that's no surprise. Zanilor wrote a letter to Kelp Dunatrim, our king, telling that you would come and ask one of our dwarves for help. But as long as we have not retrieved the Axe of Stone, I cannot join your cause. I must see it recovered. Ere I can go on wandering with humans. Alright. It was used in combat by the god Duna. After Duna left this world, she gave the weapon to our cave. It's a catastrophe that the elves have stolen this magnificent weapon. The elves are responsible for the theft of the axe. Aye, damn tricky elves must have sneaked into our commemorative plinth, where the axe of stone rested and had away with it in the night. We caught an elf near the scene of the crime. He hasn't confessed yet, but he will when Gregor sets his torture on him. Can I investigate this crime myself? I wish this terrible matter to be solved with as much as any dwarf. Huh. There's no need to investigate anything, human. The bloody elves are responsible for the theft and will make them suffer for it. End of saga. I don't believe the elves stole your artifact. Let me prove that you're wrong. Why waste your time when matters are so crystal clear? Well, if you have nothing better to do, go talk to the mayor and the elf. Here, I'll mark the mayor's house on your map. The elf is locked in the cellar until such time we take him to our king for final judgment. Okay. Gregor's the king's brother and the mayor. Alright. I will investigate. In order to persuade him to join the council, I must find out what happened to the Axe of Stone. <laughs> Probably the orcs, again. Acting as pretending to be elves, right? Just like they're pretending to be dwarves. Okay, so... This is the mayor's house, right? Okay. It's fine. We'll go talk to the mayor. Gregor. Greetings. I am Gregor Dunatrim, mayor of Glenboros. How can I help ye? Okay. Um, tell me more about your position as mayor. Can you tell me more about the theft of the Axe of Stone? Those three-headed elves stole it, I'm telling you. We was lucky to even catch ourselves one of them. He'll wish to stay in the forest after we're finished with him. Why do you think the elves are responsible? We've looked up the thieving elf that we caught in one of the community house cellars. Ick. May I pay a visit to the house? Of course you can. Just go south of ways to the first house on the hick left. I should go there myself soon. Let's go talk to this elf who is in the prison underneath the inn, I'm sure. Which I thought was strange. Never mind, I didn't mean to talk to you. Okay, 
Let's talk to the elf. Where is he? Help me, stranger! These, those short, arsed, bearded bastards have tortured me for hours. I don't know how long I can endure the pain and humiliation. Gods, what they did to me with a peacock feather defiled all decency and reason. And I've done nothing wrong. Hmm. I want to help you, friend. What's your name? I am Arendalis, a wood elf of the Lakewing family. I'm just an innocent visitor. I came to the dukedom to deliver some of my fine elven wine to a merchant in Verdistus. And why did they imprison you? I was traveling back to the dark forest when something hit me uh, hard on the head. When I woke up, I was gagged and blindfolded. You were kidnapped? I was abducted by at least two people, you see. I could overhear their conversation because they thought I was still unconscious. I clearly remember the harsh voice of a human and a grumbling voice of a dwarf. What happened next? They dumped me near the commemorative pill in the dwarven village. I was too befuddled by the blow to do more than lie on the ground and groan. Shortly after, a patrol of dwarves found me and accused me of stealing, stealing the axe of stone. It's ridiculous. I'm the victim. Okay. I don't remember much. Uh, re I don't remember much. Remember, I was barely conscious and simply can't remember what they actually said. I do remember that the dwarf had a slurred voice and smelled strongly of mead, but don't most of them. Hmm. I can't give you any details about the human, save that his mere presence sent shivers down my back. That man was the soul of a venomous snake. I'm certain of it. You're right about the dwarf smelling of mead. I think they must sup it instead of mother's milk when they're babies. But that doesn't help find the felon you described. No, the dwarf was really stinking of bad mead. He smelled as if he'd been wallowing in a bath of the noxious sticky stuff. He stank of the rancid honey and raw alcohol from ten paces off. Hmm. Great gods, I think Gregor, the mayor of this village, is involved in the theft of the axe of stone. What makes you think so? Why would a dwarf want to steal his own holy relic? You told me the dwarf who abducted you sank of rancid mead. That's Gregor, all right. I've never met anyone who drank as much mead as the mayor. That is interesting. Alas, but I hope you can prove your claims. This endless imprisonment in this dang cellar is driving me insane. I'm an elf. We need to be outside in the fresh air. Please do whatever you can to expose the thief. Rest is easy. I will do my best to prove your innocence. Okay. I was going to say, it's probably the mayor, then, because he stinks of mead. Yes, he does. And he was, in fact, probably the one that arrested him, so it all makes sense. Let's confront him. Hmm. Gregor, uh, just smelling you. I think I already said that to him. Meat is good for the muscles, makes you start and powerful. Why doesn't he go bring me some meat and share a few tales and drink? Why do you torture the elf you imprison? The demon elf won't say how he and his kin managed to get past our traps laid. Where the axe was. By flint the axe, I'll leave his skull and myself and watch his body twitch. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe we need to sneak in his house here and try and steal it back. Looks like I already robbed him, though. <laughs> I already robbed him. Hello. Mm, how's it going? Um, manuscripts. No. He wouldn't hide it in an unlocked open chest, would he? Unless that's it. Probably not. I'm gonna go talk to Aeolus again here. Maybe I can tell him what I think. He's gone. I must find out what happened to the access owners to start my investigation in the, the Dwarven Halls. Really? Really? Really, game? The Dwarven Halls, huh? Which I can get to by... Well, we have to go that direction anyway for another quest, so... I guess that's fine. Where's the teleporter at? I lost it. It's... it's 
up, it's up there. Okay. Alright, well, that's fine. I guess, um... We'll go back to the Dark Forest then and make our way towards the Dwarven Halls. There's some other quests in that uh, area that we can go to anyway. Warrior's Guild and Barrier of Browns. So, there's that place. Um, Dwarven Halls are this way? Yeah. So we'll go that direction. Um, we're going to have to come back to that later. So this will work just fine since we already have some other things to do here. Hello, a dragon warrior. You look more like a lizard than a dragon. And yeah, that was an insult. Come on, shoot him. Alright, so let's put... I want to try using this sort of chaos. Okay. Not cool. Blade of chaos. Have some of this. Excellent. Uh, well, it works. I don't like you. What the heck? I leveled up, actually. Kill him. Thank you. It hits very hard. Alright, let's level up. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put my points yet, but I think... Okay, I'm trying to think back to that battle. What? I might want to do my poisons. I want to do my poisons. However, I might want to... Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I should do the poison body one. Or I could buff my summons up even more. Send those that are summoned back to whence they came. There's another one as well where I can turn summoned creatures to my uh, on my side. Um, I cannot remember where it is. That might be good too. I can't bump this up yet. I wish I could. If it's next level, I can. Hmm. I'm going to do poison weapon. Outstanding. I'm going to get more out of my poisons that way. And as far as my statistics go. I think I'm gonna just try and be more more beefy. Need some survival. I'm gonna need to be able to take a certain amount of hits anyway. I can't I can hardly tank these guys. These guys are not very hard, so I should I should be able to do this. Come on, hit him. I wish I want to find more mountain trolls. <laughs> Hopefully, that one quest for the farm guy um, that has me killing trolls will get me tons of experience. That's what I'm hoping. That would be pretty awesome. Item identified? Oh, Mage's Dragon Amulets. Uh, I'm not too interested in that, but it's better than nothing. You can always sell it. 
All right, so we're on our way over here. There's a little house that I didn't explore down here. So let's go do that. Along with some mushrooms that I should probably get. A wooden door. Oh, bah, what is this? Another visitor again and only five months after the last. Am I to be given no peace? Is it necessary to be so rude? If you do not wish visitors, why do you not place a do not disturb sign outside your house? Might you be Maticus, the author of the book on alchemy? As oh, you know my book? How marvelous. Why, it seems like an age since I wrote that. I am looking for further knowledge of alchemy. Could you help? Help you? You mean to wish to become my apprentice? I can't say I relish the thought, but what? Uh, yes, in fact. You look a sturdy and healthy youngster capable of a little run uh, walking. What do you want from me? There's a specific herb that I need, and I assume you want me to go back and look for it. Is that all? But wait, you should know that the herb is guarded by an old tree. Guarded by a tree? You're jesting, are you not? It is not a normal tree, I do assure you. Don't even try to attack him because it's impossible. Even if the tree is afraid of woodcutters, he believes they have some sort of magic to hurt him. A long time ago, a clever dwarf made him believe that ridiculous story. Why might I find this old tree? On the location is very easy to find. Simply go east from here and cross the road. Continue east and you'll encounter the tree. You can't miss it. Alright, what do you have? I want all your potions. Every single one, please. Uh, yeah, even your poisons and your restorations. Not shadow, though. Not shadow. Not all these as well. Super poison. Awesome. Yep. Large empty flask. Yep. Okay. I will sell you. I have a feeling I'm not going to need that. This will reduce my gold considerably. Well, I might as well sell this now. Eh, hold on to it for now. Fifty-eight to magic. That's pretty cool. All right. No, I don't need to identify. Did I not? Did, what just happened there? Ugh. Give me it. I want it. I want all of it. I need potions. Super poison. Yep. 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 Just give me it. It's 5,000. 100. That would be good enough, like, if I just gave him that. He's only got 800 gold, though. Yeah, whatever. There you go. Alright, so what have you got? Anything good to steal? Minor shadows. No, oh, that's just. Manuscript. You have a cellar. Anything in here I can steal? This is just where he makes all his potions. Nope. I would like I would like to learn more alchemy. So, um to the east. That talking tree. Alright, let's go back and do this really quick. I'll pause the video. Um, and I'll also get some herbs on the way. And uh, we'll be back when I'm at the tree. Okay. So here we are. Um, Hail, human! Not many of our kind have the courage to go deep into the dark forest. I hope you haven't lost your way. Uh, I'm looking for the famous talking tree. Can you show me the way? No. Hi, Elf. Don't worry. I know exactly where I am. Be careful. You're very near the domain of Abeneabar, the old talking tree. He's a really bad moon lately, and if this is the case, you don't want to get in his way. Why don't you simply cut him? Silly human, you can't cut El Benayabar. He's magical and can't be harmed so easily. Even if he tends to believe woodcutters can harm him, he's heard so many horror stories from the other trees, so he thinks woodcutters are great giants with huge magical axes. What are you doing out here? 
This is our forest human, remember? We're on patrol mission to reduce the tremendous amount of monsters. Well, I've been doing more work than you in that regard. You have nothing. Alright, that's fine. I am going to talk to this tree. And maybe I can scare him into giving me what I want. An old tree. Ow. Who disturbs me? Who dares come within my reach? Uh, my herbs? No one steals my herbs! Oh crap. Okay. Um... Ouch. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. Um, let's try a different dialogue option. Uh, calm yourself. There's no reason for alarm. I've traveled far to meet you. What does you want from me? I am in sore need of the herb that I am told grows near your roots, so I wanted to ask you. And just why should I let you have one? Well, you see, there are some woodcutters nearby looking for a special tree. They say, of course, I would never tell them about you. <laughs> woodcutters! You try and trick me, surely, but I'm not willing to take that risk. Very well, go on. Okay, good. Thanks! I got it, I think. Yep. Uh, thanks, old tree dude. 